Hey guys, Steve from Lakeshore RV Center. Just gonna do the walkthrough orientation on the uh, Cougar fifth wheel. You're picking up the 25 RES. We'll start on the outside here, work our way to the inside. And if you have questions or if I miss something, feel free to give me a call at 231-736-9162. Like I said, we'll get going on the outside. First thing you'll notice right at the entrance are the uh, flip up steps. So these steps are about as wide as the door. You wanna make sure this door is all the way open if you're gonna bring the steps in or out. As you can see, the clearance is pretty tight on it. And if you have that door just shut a little bit, it will catch down on the corner here and bend up the frame of your uh, of your screen door. As we go over to the pass-through storage, you've got your power cord in the pass-through. You have a hookup right here. This is for your satellite, uh, uh, I'm sorry, for your TV and you can hook up satellite or uh, cable or antenna right there. You have your in-command system right here. This, we unscrew this, I'll show you real quick. This will have the manual backup for the slide out, uh, the slide outs and the awning on it. If you look at the switch right here, um, you can just designate it to which motor you want in and out. That's what the M is. And then you'll just push the button up here to bring it in or out, just like that. So the, um, the slide outs or the um, awning you can operate from there if you can't get it to operate from the uh, in-command panel on the inside. You've got two 30-pound propane tanks. There's one on each side right there. We'll go over to the front compartment and you have up front here, you're gonna have your spare tire and also uh, your batteries are gonna be right there. You do have a little bit of storage up there as well. As you're looking, just to the right of it, you have docking lights. So if we turn these on, these are going to be your LEDs on the um, on the cap of the camper. You got your two right there, and then also the one on the top. Coming over to the side, there's your slide out with the uh, slide covers on it. This is your other 30 pound tank right here, and this. compartment you're going to have a couple of things you're going to have your main hookup uh, for your water to winterize um, your poles for the black tank and one of the gray tanks is right there you have your blue coil holes right there that'll plug in right at the top for hot and cold water and then you have your battery disconnect and where the key tv is if you want to hook up a cable or satellite you'll do it um, right there that bottom right there that is your uh, black tank flush so that'll flush out the black tank there's a caution sticker next to it that basically says hey if you're going to hook a hose up to this and turn the water on make sure that valve right there for the black tank is pulled open otherwise that black tank can fill up and it will come out um, through the toilet um, up literally up through the toilet there um, above that is city water connection so if you're at a park that has uh, uh, water right at the site a spigot there You'll hook that up to the um, city water connection and to winterize, that's uh, where you'll draw antifreeze out of a jug right there. It has the hot water bypass, which is nice. And then winterization, when you turn that to on, it will draw out of that winterization um, port right there. You'll notice another thing that's in the pass-through storage is you have your automatic leveling system. And this is also how you're gonna operate the front jacks to get it on and off. See if I can get this to focus a little bit. For front jacks right here, if you push it down, that is gonna to be to extend it, or you can hit the retract button and then to bring them down. You can see where it says auto level, that's to automatically level the system. Um, and if you have questions about that, it's a little bit easier to do it in person when you get here to show you. Next to that is your uh, controller. That's for your, um, for the solar. That's right there. And that's for the solar panel that's on the, the top of the camper. You have your hot water, that is gas electric. That's your hot water um, tank and heater. That is controlled from the in-command system on the inside. And I'll show you that in just a minute when we get in there. Other slide out with the other slide topper. Fresh water. You're gonna fill up the fresh water tank. That's right there. 
And obviously your 50 amp cord is gonna get plugged in um, right there. You have on the back two inch receiver. If you wanna hook up a bike rack, you can hook up a, a trailer to it. It's 300 pounds of tongue weight or uh, 3,000 pounds tow capacity. Ladder up to the top. It is a full walkable roof on this camper here so you can get up and do your maintenance. You have your capital grill right here. This goes into the main gas line. You can see the uh, cord, the hose back there. And then this is an electric only fridge. The uh, gas line, you'll see the little yellow plug in right there. Um, that's where you'll plug in that capital grill. Your automatic leveling system. You have an access panel here. This is for the fridge. Really nothing for you to do with um, on that. And then you have um, the exhaust for the furnace. Got your electric awning, two speakers um, just under it there. That's controlled from the radio on the inside here. So we go into the camper. We'll do a walk around. A few things you'll notice. This little guy right here, this is actually your um, temperature gauge for the thermostat. So uh, this is what will detect the zone up here. Got your booth dinette, you got your theater seating. Fireplace is going, that is electric. That Furion, oh, it's putting out a little bit of heat too, feels good. You've got your Furion system right here, the two zones. Um, you have speakers on the inside. You can see they've got four speakers in here and then the two on the outside. So you can play speakers inside and outside at the same time, just the outside, just the inside, however you want to do it. 50 inch TV right here. You have your gas electric RV fridge. This right here is on, it's on automatic. So as this is plugged in, it is um, running off electric. When this gets unplugged, as long as the gas um, propane tanks are open, that'll provide the fuel source to um, keep this cold. So as you're traveling, you want to keep the fridge on and keep everything cold. Just keep it on automatic and make sure your uh, your gas tanks are open. You have your Furion stove top right here and then also the oven. You've got your three burners, which are right here. Just like so, your spark um, igniter right there. And then this on the end, this is um, for, the, uh, for the oven, the temperature on it, and then you just got some backlighting right there is the end switch. We'll put that down. And then what we'll do is we will go, I'll show you the in command system here. So right in the hallway here, see if I can zoom out, we'll power on. The default um, passcode is gonna be all zeros. So four zeros, and it'll come up here. Interior light service, just a quick button. Turn lights off and on. Um, hot water heater, like I've shown you on the outside, you can do, it's off now, but you can do gas or electric, or gas and electric. Go back to the main water pump. You can see how it's lit up right there. So that means the water pump's on. And then it shows you the status of the battery, okay? Fresh water, this will be content gauge. As these fill up, it'll get um, lighter, actually, to show you. So if you hit the fresh water tank, It'll show you the contents right here. And then it will also show you right here for the heater. That's for the pads. So if you wanna do the uh, heat pads, you just turn them on right there. And that'll be the heat pads for the, um, for the tanks. And right here, heating and cooling. So this right here, guys. All right. So if you go to the rear, AC, and you can go to mode. Just go to mode for fan if you want to turn the fan on. Uh, the AC, you can turn the AC on right here. You can adjust it. The zone, it shows you what the temperature is. That was that little um, button looking thing I, I showed you before. Furnace, if you want to turn that on. And then automatic, so if you want it to figure out if it has to go hot or cold, if you're, you know, one of those fall days where it's cold in the morning, you need the heat and then the AC on in the afternoon, you just keep it on automatic. Um, so that's how you operate that. There's a schedule right here. You can start and stop. Um, you'll need to set the time for that. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, lights, you have your ceiling lights, bedroom light, awning lights. That's the LED lights underneath.
right there. Those are the uh, LED lights where it says for awning. We'll go back out of that. Slide outs and awning. So pretty self-explanatory, which slide out the wardrobe up in the bedroom and then sofa dinette slide um, in or out as well as the awning. Now, that was the switch I was showing you in the pass-through storage. That was, um, you can operate the, uh, operate it manually. And then settings right here, this is gonna be for Bluetooth. If you wanna connect your phone to it, you can go ahead and do that. Wi-Fi, if you wanna connect this unit to a Wi-Fi, you can go ahead and do that so you can, um, you know, kind of dial into the, uh, the camper, kind of like you can with a, a smart home. Time and date, if you want to set that, um, then you could do that schedule for the heating and cooling. And then passcode, if you want to change the passcode from the default passcode. So that's the in command right there. And then we'll go through the rest of the camper here. You've got bathroom right here. you got your light switch on. Tub and then commode there. Then you do have your ground fault, your GFI um, outlet. So if you have some outlets that aren't working, just check to make sure that hasn't popped out. Um, and if it has, go ahead and reset it so you can get those outlets to work. And then as we go up into the bedroom here, you have your slide out right there for the wardrobe. You have outlets and USB ports under the, uh, the nightstands. And then you have the TV bracket right here. Second zone right here for the front AC, if you want to um, um, turn just the, the front AC on, you can go ahead and do that. And then that's set up to this temperature gauge right here. Um, that would be for that AC. So like I said, guys, that's a, a good overview of it. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to give me a call at 231-736-9162. And I certainly appreciate your business and look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.